Okay, so this functional skills question, um, level one, is actually fairly straightforward with just quite a lot of work. And you can see that because it's worth five marks. So there's going to be quite a lot that we need to do. Let's give it a read through. Uh, Alfie sells flooring for playgrounds. He has this diagram of a playground. The playground is rectangular, nine meters by 15 meters, and the lawn in the middle is rectangular, three meters by four meters. Alfie will put flooring on all the space inside the playground, but not the lawn. The flooring costs £36 per square metre. Work out the total cost of the flooring. So here are the steps we're going to need to do. We're going to need to find the area of the playground. We're going to have to get rid of the area of the lawn from that, because that doesn't need paving. Uh, and then just work out how much it costs. So hopefully that'll be fairly straightforward. So let's get to work. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is work out the area of the whole playground, which is going to include the bit in the middle. Um, and to work out the area of this rectangle, we do 15 times 9, base times height, or length times width, or whatever you want to call it. So the area of the entire thing is 135, and I've copied that to the working box so I get marks for it. Um, but we don't need to pave the lawn. So the next thing I'm going to do is work out the area of the lawn so I can take that away from the area of the playground that we just found. So the area of the lawn is 3 times 4, base times height again. And like I said, we don't want to pave that bit. So I'm going to take my original area and subtract the 12 to get the area that actually needs paving. So just to make that clear what we've done, uh, we started by finding the area of the entire thing, which was 135. The area of this little bit is 12. Oh, it's really hard to see. Let me use a different color. Uh, the area of this little bit is 12, but because that's not going to get paved, we took it out of the 135, and that leaves us with 123, and that's actually how much needs paving, 123 metres squared. Uh, I know it's metres squared because it's area, and we did metres times metres, um, and if it helps, I can write metres squared um, in here. It's a little bit tricky. Um, I, you can't do like a little two for squared. I, I think that's probably okay, just putting meters squared. I think it's obvious what you mean. Um, anyway, that's the area that needs paving um, or, or flooring or whatever. Now the flooring is 36 pound per square meter and we have 123 square meters or meters squared. So we're gonna have to pay 36 pounds 123 times. So that's 36 times 123. That is the cost of the flooring. Um, so actually, for a five mark question, there wasn't anything conceptually that was really difficult there. I mean, the maths wasn't necessarily easy and it wasn't always easy to see where we need to go, but conceptually, there was nothing really abstract or really tough. So quite a nice five mark question. We found the area of the entire playground. We subtracted from that the area that does not need to be paved or floored or whatever uh, to get the area that does need to be floored uh, and we then just multiply by how much every square meter is, because if one square meter is 36, then 123 square meters is 123 36s, which came to 4,428 pounds. That's the cost of the flooring.